Tamara Mena, Customer Relations Specialist and eLegs Ambassador. I was in San Diego and on a Saturday night, my boyfriend at the time and some of her friends, we decided to go down to uh, Mexico just for the night. We were going to go to Rosarito, so we decided to grab a taxi in our efforts to not drink and drive and be responsible. So we were on our way there, we were almost there too, but we never made it. We actually struck a horse and the horse was just standing in the middle of the road. It was dark, the headlights weren't working well, it was just a recipe for a disaster. We were going about 80 miles an hour, so the impact was detrimental. We struck the horse and the horse fell on top of the roof and crushed the roof all the way down the seat level on my side. The horse essentially fell on top of my back and that's how my spine was fractured. My spinal cord was severed at about level T3, T2, T3. It's life changing, but you learn to adapt and you learn new things and you survive. I always saw myself as a survivor and not as a victim. Unfortunately, my boyfriend did not make it. He was killed instantly and the taxi driver in front of me was also killed. So that in itself reminds me of how lucky, how truly lucky I am just to have survived. So I got a second chance. To have the amazing opportunity of being a test pilot means a lot to me. My level of injury is T2, which is about mid-chest, T2, T3, and I don't really have much trunk control. So it was vital to come in, because I gave them feedback that some of their other test pilots didn't have the same challenges because they had more control, more stabilities. Keep in mind, all spinal cord injuries are different. You're right. We get emails from all over the world. People would do anything to try the device, and that just helps me to remind myself how lucky I am. It's really hard to describe and put into words, to be honest with you. What I can tell you is that the first time, I was more scared, I think, about falling than really enjoying the whole experience, and I just had to remind myself that the most beautiful thing was that I was up and walking. So it took me a little bit to get there. But now I want to share what not, what in, you know, now it feels amazing. I think you'd be able to relate to this. Do you remember when you were a child and maybe dad or brother or cousin would pick you up and put you on their shoulders and all of a sudden you see the world, I mean, obviously much taller, but you just feel so cool to be up on their shoulders. That's what it feels like. All of a sudden I'm up and I'm just so tall and it's just amazing to see the world again from that standing view and not looking up always. And so to just be up and look at people eye to eye is a beautiful thing. Not because they're sitting with me, but because I'm standing with them. And um, now I'm able to walk and, and look up. I mean, even if it, the scenery is not that cool, I can't wait till I take it outside. <laughs> There's one thing I love that a lot of people don't know, which was rollerblading. And I tried a lot of different things since I've been injured. And so nothing, like right absolutely down. nothing had reminded me of the feeling of rollerblading until I got to crutches. It's that, I guess, simultaneous full body engagement, but the cross lateral pattern of rollerblading. And um, the first time I got to crutches, I, I cried because, you know, I missed it. I missed feeling like my legs and my arms engaging at the same time. And just nothing had reminded me, not even come close to it. And um, the crutches did it for me. And I, it kind of makes me feel like I'm rollerblading in any way, but rollerblading and walking and everything together. I look back at where I was and where I am now, and that inspires me to move forward. So, and then with that in mind, dream about the future and everything, all the possibilities that will come 
in, in my lifetime, especially with everything that's going on now and this amazing technology. And keep in mind that this is just the beginning. The next thing you know, we're gonna be running and who knows, I'm just so excited and I look forward. But it's important to live in the present and I live in the moment, I take it all in, so I'm thankful for what I have today.